It's and all grilled and fried. All grilled and fried. There we go. And just break in half. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so good. Creamy, the texture. Yeah. I've got a tip open as well. Yeah. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> so how was the food experience in Dubai all in all? Saraha Batum Wahid. So, yeah. what do you call this setup? So, this is a sufra, and it just means like a cloth that you place on the floor to uh, to, to eat. Mm -hmm. And uh, nothing, we say yalsa, which means sitting al -ard, on the ground. Well, basically, the way that he's designed the interior of the restaurant it looks like a fishing village, right? So in the past, people lived by the sea. So they had, you know, first of all, these are uh, from the palm trees, mm -hmm. and this is usually the barrier of everything. Then you've got the fishing nets mm -hmm. over here. This is one type of fishing net. So this is for a different type of fish, this is for a different type of fish. These are the ones that they drop in the water, they leave there. Mm -hmm. The fish goes inside, cannot come back out. Mm -hmm. So this is that. Then you've got a lot of those, you see this, that round thing over there that's mm -hmm. made also from the palm tree that is meant to be on the floor that's like instead of this this is the original this mm -hmm. looks like that so if you go to people's houses in the past they put that on the floor and they put the food everything on top of it and then the one that looks like a cone mm -hmm. is when you put a plate of rice or something like that you put that cone on top so no flies and everything go on it mm -hmm. so everything here is very traditional you've got this this one we call it doshak and this is just you know for you to lean lean back Mm -hmm. uh, in the past, we didn't have furniture in the house. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to somebody's living room or dining room, or guest room, they would have these a lot of times designed. Mm -hmm. A lot of times white and nice embroidery on it and a small thing on the floor, thin, that you sit on. And that was the living room area. And same like this, around the wall and you, mm -hmm. you all sit and around kind of each relaxed, other and, talk, yeah. and you relax and everything. So he's made it very traditional. Even the uniforms, what they're wearing, mm -hmm. this is what fishermen you know how they used to dress because you have the you know the lungi yeah. so and then in, a, a, in a white your shirt. language is lungi uh, so we call it we call it wizar wizar yeah but yeah. like there's the second name for it is people lungi. don't call it lungi, lungi. as well yeah yeah because oh, so everybody this, this knows fabric is lungi fabric yeah huh? yeah absolutely uh -huh. absolutely so people will know if you say it people will know what it is uh -huh. and this experience this ambiance adds uh -huh. to the flavor of the food sitting on the floor sitting around near this and then eating and everything It's a huge tray. That's a big tray. <laughs> oh. So first of all, over here on the side, we've got habul. And habul is the sack of the fish eggs, of a type of uh, fish. They take it out completely. They dip it in batter, and then they deep fry it. So that's habul, very special over here. People, people love this. This one we call it gabgub, it's basically um, crab. It is mini crabs cut in half, deep fried, very nice. Not with a lot of sauces and things like that. Your crab is good on its own. Then you've got over on this side, this is nahar, and this is uh, squid pieces. And it has this yellow because I think they put uh, turmeric and, and things on it. This is jishid, and this is shark. So it looks like minced fish. Right? But it's got a lot of different spices. It's yellow because of the turmeric, it has saffron, it has lumi, it has so many things. It's beautiful. Extremely special over here. On this side, you've got the mussels. And this is their own special cream sauce that they put on it. So it's supposed to be very, very good. Over on this side, you've got shrimp cut in half and they're grilled on charcoal. This is a, a sea bream fish mm -hmm. cut in half, butterfly cut on the grill. 
in the center you have salmon very soft salmon is beautiful this is actually even with the yellow sauce on it is, is uh, very good and then this is sea bass once again cut in half butterfly and on the grill so nine different types of fish on a bed of white rice and really the only things you need to add is this ghee mm -hmm. and lemon and you're in good shape it's and all grilled and fried all grilled and fried everything and all seafood of course mm -hmm. nothing else total as easy a Oh yes, for the same. So I was saying, right? Hagel nahar, al mahar, zin. Fantastic. So this is the same sauce as this. This is for the salmon. Mm -hmm. What I would suggest, we start off with this. I just put a little bit of lemon for mm -hmm. us, and this is. Oh, that's a big piece. Yeah, I love a small one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. It tastes like egg yolk. Mm. Basically, yeah. Mm. A bit dry. Mm. Mm. Meant to be eaten very fresh, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Always good with some, some, some sauce or something like that. Mm -hmm. And also good with just plain rice. Mm. That's good. So just maybe one of these. Mussels. Mussels. It's quite meaty. It's quite meaty, yeah. Mm. yeah. Again, from the waters over over here. Mm -hmm. The sauce is very good. Very nice sauce, yeah. Very, very good creamy. Sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, mm -hmm. again, let's go for one of their shrimp. Mm -hmm. Again, grilled. So I just take the south like that. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's really fresh. Really fresh. And again, if you put um, some lemon on it. Sweet as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's on lemon of mine. Yeah, thank you. There you go. Really nice, oh. right? That changes the... Mm. Really good. So you know, we have great shrimp uh, mm. over here in, in, in the region. And all sorts of different sizes. But this one is not a very large mm. one. I think it's all about the freshness. Or the fresh, fresh fish which you get here. Absolutely. Let's put a little bit of lemon mm -hmm. on these. Let's try Squid. some of this. I'll take a piece. Good. Now, try the salmon. So take a good, there you go. Nice. This is their special sauce for the salmon. Mm. Very soft and mm. just beautiful. I'm a big fan of, I, I love salmon, we eat a lot. Uh, and they cook it very well. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of times, salmon could be mm -hmm. dry. It's like a flaky fish. Mm. Oh. So, I wanna, I usually would like to get this one next. So, mm -hmm. this one, we will need some lemon. So, that's the shark, right? So, I'll cook some lemon for us. Okay, mm -hmm. take off this, this little seed. And I will put a little bit of this first. Ghee? We need some ghee on it. Okay. This is a very popular, lightly spicy as well. Like so, Tabasco? Uh, less less uh, spicy less than spicy. Tabasco also. Mm -hmm. Now, we do that. And this is something special. So now this time, mm -hmm. dig and get the rice from mm -hmm. under. Okay, so you want the rice. You want the rice. Mmm. Okay. Wow. That's special. This is really juicy. Mm. I just break in half. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, that is so good. Look at the texture of that. Mm. Creamy, the texture. Yeah. More cream. Yeah. Again, from here. Mm -hmm. Local uh, crab. That is really good. It's so good, right? Yeah. And again, lightly spiced. Yeah. It's a lot of meat. You see, the meat will just straight away come off. Oh, wow. Right? And let's get some lemon. So lemon with everything. It helps everything. Mm. Mm? Great fish, huh? Yeah. And really good if you just take a little bit of rice as well. 
Very soft. Very soft. Uh -huh. Slightly different type of fish. Yeah. The sea bass. Mm -hmm. Again, yeah, from there you get a good, it just comes off straight. Yeah. Comes off the skin mm -hmm. and comes off straight the bone. Mm. Wow. So she's a bit of a different texture yeah. than that. Yep. But, but when you wrap a fish in silver foil and grill it, the juices are intact in it. Yes, that's right. So it's, they that's get right. this grill flavor. You don't let the plus, moisture go out. Yeah, yeah, the moisture is still there. Nice. And you get this, the fish is perfectly cooked Fantastic. on the side. Fantastic. But great meal, huh? Great meal. Fantastic. So the ghee which we had was made up of goat milk. It's goat milk, yeah. Oh. So we do have both, right? So this one is uh, goat uh, milk ghee. Mm -hmm. This one is cow milk ghee. But as you can see, this is more prevalent because we have much more goats over here. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's good. Oh, it's very nice yeah. to eat with the rice. When you put it on the rice, it's beautiful. The ghee which we consume, it was not that aromatic. No, it's not. Otherwise, if you consume the cow ghee or buffalo milk yeah. ghee, yeah. it's very aromatic. Very aromatic, yeah. correct. correct. So but it was very nice. Very nice, very, yeah. very thick. It turns the thing yeah. into a completely whole new yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And of course, you have to end the meal with some nice mint tea to wash it down. Wash it down. So more on the food, I really like the way the food is served. Yeah. The way people eat, yes. like a communal eating. Yes, huh? yes, yes. That's it's, actual experience. It's absolutely. Huh? It's all about eating together and talking, sharing mm -hmm. news and what's happened and things like that. So, big part of the culture, yeah. to eat together by hand from one, one big plate. So this, again, very special place because you saw the sign on the wall, right? Mm -hmm. They have this thing where they say, come and eat. If you cannot pay, you can eat for free. And they actually honor it, huh? mm -hmm. if you're not able to pay. Now, what tends to happen is many people come and eat and they pay extra because they say, you know, since you're giving free food to people, we'll give you extra money to cover those costs and everything. Very nice, guys. Very small place. All Levantian street food. Mm -hmm. And particularly three key things. One is falafel, one is hummus, and one is food. So we're gonna try all of those. But look at the service. We walked in straight away. He yeah. put this in front of us. He said, here, this is appetizer, you know, uh -huh. without anything for us to try. Yeah. That. That's so, hummus. That's hummus, right? Some people do it a little bit more flat and everything. They do their falafel round. Could be in one bite. Let's do it in half a bite. Mm. Wow. See the hummus? The smoothness of the hummus. Yeah. This hummus and, and, and just the crisp on the outside and the inside, grainy but very nice. Yeah, huh? It's very moist. Very moist. Fresh, hot as well. So this is not reheated. Mm -hmm. You just cooked it, took it out, boom. So but the sourness mm. so, the hummus? So the hummus, mm -hmm. a good hummus has tahina to give it some creaminess, mm -hmm. right? It's got lemon mm -hmm. to give it that citrusy oh. thing, mm -hmm. and it's got garlic as well. These things are critical, right? So you'll find in most places that are really true Levantian restaurants, mm -hmm. the hummus is going to be slightly more on the acidic citric mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. right? That's how it is. real deal when it comes to hummus. Mm -hmm. so, so prepared creamy, then you've got some bits of this chickpeas, chickpeas over there, mm -hmm. lots of great olive oil, and that over there is something we need to try, but usually what I would say is that's probably some garlic and some lemon. But this is fava beans mm -hmm. pounded together with tahina, with lemon, with olive oil, and just beautiful. So you need bread for both of these things, and they make homemade bread over here as well. Mm. See that? Oh. So some garlic. Mm. Mm. Garlic, lemon, mm. it's very lemony. Yeah. 
and that olive oil, beautiful. You know a good olive oil when the color is greener than yellow. Mm -hmm. Creaminess mm. is so important. Smooth. What do you think about that? Mm? Wow. Mm. You dip that a little Over bit in the tahini. And, and tahini. There you go. Mm. Yeah. Out of the world. Yeah, because that mellows everything down a little bit. Yeah. Falafel and tahini? Falafel and tahini. Better combination. Yeah. Compare with that. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, we tend to refer to it as Lebanese bread. Lebanese bread. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Mm, yeah. So these will come in large and then they chop it up, they cut it. One last bite. Yeah, go for it. Enjoy. Enjoy. Allah, he said, look, Allah, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> he says, I can, I can be a, an actor in your, in your show as well. Sure. <laughs> Can't stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hear you. But Walking we have, back. we still have a couple more places okay. to go. So, so just one last bite. Save some space in your. One, <laughs> one last bite. branches in town and you see like this is I mean these guys serve until night they're just constantly making so if you look constantly making constantly making constantly making they don't stop mm -hmm. this is what they have so much traffic that they don't need to wait for an order to come they see they never never stop they just make there's usually like 30 40 50 sandwiches just sitting there waiting on the heat but they have the turnover, they don't mm -hmm. stay there for long. So, what are the different types of chicken? Chicken, meat, oh, okay. chicken. Chicken is the key thing, mm -hmm. but they do meat as well, which is good, and it's lamb. Okay. So that's it. So they give you the sandwich, you uh -huh. cut it in half for us, and we got some pickles as well. And we'll eat it in real style, we eat it outside. Shawarma is the most popular street food of UAE? Um, I mean, it is the most popular Arabian, Arabian street, food. street food, I should say. Okay. Yeah. And uh, super popular sandwich. It's okay. meant to be eaten on the go. And originally, shawarma is like usually quite small, and you eat three, four, five, six mm -hmm. of them. Then you go. So that's why I want to bring you here so that we order and we walk outside and we, we eat it the way that the Arabs actually do. Yeah, let's do yeah? it. Let's go. Mm. Mm. You immediately taste the chicken. Mm. And lots of garlic, lots of cream. Yeah. And a little bit of pickle. The bread is just to hold it together, mm. nothing else. It's not meant to give you any flavor. It's so juicy from inside. Mm. And the bread is very crisp. The crisp, absolutely. Yeah. That's from the panini grill. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And the chicken is also like very crisp. Did you see the layers? Yeah. Because the way they slice it. Correct. Yeah. Because you have to allow the chicken to get enough of a, you know, it's not burned, but mm -hmm. it's getting close to it. So you mm -hmm. get that crisp, mm -hmm. right? And then the back side of it is still moist. Yeah. That's the, the key. And then That's why that, that guy that, that, that cuts, uh -huh. they usually call them ma'allim. What does it mean? Ma'allim shawarma. It means ustad of shawarma. Everybody who does that, they mm -hmm. call them ma'allim. That's the right way of respecting them because they have a skill on how they rotate. They need to watch when do you rotate and how do you cut. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to call them ustad. So it's all just chicken? There's a layer of fat also in it? In the chicken, no. No. But you know what they do in the chickens? They use the whole chicken. So they're using thigh, they're using breast, everything. On the meat, the lamb, you've got usually one full like that of meat and then an inch of fat. Four meat, inch of fat. So it melts all into it, it just gives it that juiciness. Otherwise it'll dry out very quickly. Oh. Yeah. 
yeah. is truly the best shawarma I've ever eaten. Oh, amazing! Yeah. I'm glad it was with me. Loved it. Loved it. They won't stop. <laughs> they say, ah. Oh. Oh. Say, oh, 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 oh. That's a true Indian way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our next food stop. Okay, so our next food stop, Sultan Al Arab. This is the longest shawarma in the UAE. How long it is? I think it's a meter long. I believe. Let's check. Let's <laughs> find out. <laughs> Lettuce, okay. French fries. Chicken. Garlic meal. Really? <laughs> so that's the longest shawarma of Dubai. Yeah, I, it's the longest shawarma in the UAE. There's nothing bigger than this and maybe it's the longest in the world. I don't know, maybe. I've never seen any shawarma this large. Very unique. Very unique. Very special. Uh -huh. So I think we need to hold it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. like so start from one end, I start from one end. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> That's when it's you know good. it's good. Yeah. It's good, huh? Different type of bread. So this one is yeah. a thicker bread. Yeah, thicker bread. Oh, much more mellow sauce. Has lettuce in it, so a little mm. bit different flavor. Lots of garlic sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The chicken is really crisp. Mmm. And juicy. Oh, yum. That's fantastic. Oh, can we finish it? <laughs> oh my god. On an empty stomach, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I think this is a meal for like three, three four people. Mm. Oh, that's an experience. That's amazing. Wow, fantastic. I'm good. <laughs> Amazing. So, which is the birthplace of shawarma? Of which so, country? Like. So, I understand that the word shawarma comes from the word cheverme, which is a Turkish word, which means rotating. So, you know, it's commonly known that the birthplace of shawarma is actually Turkey. But then it traveled out, probably because of the Ottoman Empire, and it, it started to become very popular. And you have it now as far as in Mexico. Tacos el Pastor. Mm -hmm. It's shawarma. It came from this part of the world. So it's traveled, but the birthplace, they say, is Turkey. So, so here it comes with two different kinds of atayr? Absolutely. Uh -huh. So you can choose which one you want. I chose a zatar. Uh -huh. Just because, you know, zatar is, again, you get a good zatar, it's very good. And see how good this zatar is. Mm -hmm. And this one is very special. They said it's cheese, pistachio, and honey. Sweet. So sweet. So one is savory, one is sweet. So should we try this one first? Yeah. Ooh, lots of zatar, lots of oil. <laughs> That's zatar. Yeah. We'll probably put a lot more olive oil on it, mm -hmm. but mm, very bready. Yeah, very bready. Right? Yeah. So you Thick can bread. eat a lot of that. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. It's good. Now, it's that meat, the way it's seasoned. Mm. It's actually like a exactly like a pizza. Exactly like a pizza. Huh? Because of the cheese and everything like yeah. that, yeah. Exactly. Mm. So, the base is a bit thicker, so you can make it a very thin as well. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. 
and there are different kinds of manakish. Oh yeah, so you, manush you can have it with za'atar. Mm. So manakish is the plural of manush okay. or manushe is actually how you say it, manushe. You can have it with za'atar, you can have it with vegetables, you can have it with cheese, you can have it with falafel, you can have it with yogurt, you can have it with so many different things. Um, I would say the most popular is probably za'atar and cheese mm -hmm. separately or za'atar cheese together. Those are the three most popular so ones. It's more like a flat bread. Huh? Correct. Baked on an oven. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Well, you see how the mince is? Yeah. Really fine mince. Yeah. You want to jump on that side, uh, Rabah? Let's see how this, this looks very interesting. And I guess leave this part on above. Let's take here, the second part, because mm -hmm. less bread, more filling. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm. That's right. Cream cheese. Mm. Honey. Pistachio. Mm. Thick like bread. Gooey from inside. Mm. Creamy. Mm. The sweetness of honey. A little bit of saltiness from the cheese. From the cheese, yeah, yes. Oh. Ah, Very nice. good. That's a good, uh, good way to end the, the meal. Mm. Fantastic. Okay, what else are we ordering? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now I want a cup of chai. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Yeah. It's time for chai now. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> So what are we having? Karak. Two karaks. Fresh milk. Yeah, and no sugar, huh? No sugar. Yeah, no sugar. No Fresh sugar. milk, no sugar. Thank you. Very good tea. Good? Oh, yeah. Great, great. Yeah. I'm very happy here. A strong cup of tea. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's how karak should be, right? Yeah. Should be strong. I really like the glass also. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beep, beep. Yeah. I need a karak. I need, yeah, so, so you know, I'll tell you the story of a few of these. So beep beep is because people here, you know, they, it's very hot. So they don't come out of the car to get the karak. So they'll just park here, they're haunted it, and they come outside, you, you get a karak. Just from the window, you'll see people do, or like that, and you bring the karak out. I Need the Karak is a song that my brother has made. It's mm. an actual song on YouTube, mm. you can see it. So it's called I Need the Karak. So there's a few stories. This is the, the most popular car here, the Nissan Patrol. Uh -huh. So the most popular car uh, that the Emiratis, they love, they go off-roading with it and everything like that. That's a number plate of Dubai. This is a number plate of Dubai. al Wasal Road is this road, uh -huh. where this restaurant is on. And Jumeirah is the area as well. Wahid Karak, it means one Karak, one Karak. And that's it, peep peep, one Karak. So it's really good. You know, my brother is, of course, he's a musician, so he has that there. And then DXB is Dubai. They also have great Karak ice cream. <laughs> But today it's a soft serve, but today the machine is not running. Mm -hmm. So you have to come back for, for that one. I would love to try that. I like <laughs> <Yeah>. ice cream. <laughs> so yeah, do they have like actual black tea in it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, it's yeah. very nice. My father comes here all the time to have that. <laughs> Amazing. I'm glad you like it. So how was the food experience in Dubai all in all? Saraha. Rakam Wahid. <laughs> That's great. So Saraha means seriously, Rakam Wahid, number one. Yeah. Fantastic. Love brilliant, brilliant. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>